All right, guys, welcome back. Dinner is finally done, and I was able to sneak off again, and I think it's quiet enough that we can make another x theme demo. Our site so far looks pretty good. We have the hero image working and the anchor button, which leads us to a few links that still need to be set on these buttons, but we have a nice parallax section, a skills bar, a pricing table with some counters above it, and uh, even this section right here, which I forget the name of. Today we want to switch gears and we want to install e-commerce onto our site. And I've already done that um, because we're at a point where the homepage looks good and everything makes sense for our mock television store. And we need to actually sell televisions. We need to create the products which we can uh, assign prices to and then link to so that mock customers could actually get something out of the site. So what I did while you were gone was I went to the dashboard and I moved this cornerstone page from the cornerstone tab which I do recommend along with the customize tab and the homepage tab. I moved the cornerstone tab to the dashboard tab by clicking the home icon dashboard And I installed WooCommerce in Plugins, Add New. WooCommerce is a plugin, and it's the best free e-commerce plugin on the web, which you might have used before. With WooCommerce, we get pages, and those pages are going to be useful to show off our products and to help people check out and make payments to our website. And they're also going to be useful for our menu and for our footer. We're going to include those pages and some of the products in the menu and footer. So why don't we start off by just creating our first product. In the drop down up above we now have product along with post, page, media, etc. And we can click product. Alright, let's go through the basic steps of creating our first product. We need a name. So I'm going to write in the curve Ultra HD television. And then what I like to do right away is give the product an image. Just click set product image and we uploaded all of our media back in step one I believe. So now we can choose the right featured image and some gallery images too. I want this widescreen TV image as our main featured image because it showcases the whole product in a straightforward way and let's set product image alright we can also add some text and this text for product short description goes right next to the product whereas the text right here will go below the product fortunately we have our visual editor so we can start writing in some text to describe the product I sped that up because I figure you guys already know how to use the WordPress visual editor, but some notes are make sure to use the most you can, meaning things like italics and a bulleted list right here with this button, and down below using colors for different uh, criteria, like different parts of the product that you want less prominent or more prominent in bold or if you highlight savings you could put that in green or red using all the tools in the WordPress visual editor. Now we need some text to go below our product which is going to help sell someone who's not sure about their purchase. And there we go, I sped it up again and I'm just looking in the text tab here because there's some uh, important factors to point out once again. We use the space shortcode several times to separate these little blurbs and these blurbs are just an image followed by some lorem ipsum text. The important thing to notice is that the images are all sitting above a H4 header which is sitting above some text and that structure works really well for um, these little blurbs or munches of image header text it goes image which is a thumbnail size at about 300 to 225 and then the heading and then the text you can use this short code for space to break up the chunks and then repeat the process and what I've done is set some images to align left 
and some to align right. Anyways, let's take a look at how it looks. We can click publish and view our product. And we have a pretty decent looking ultra curve HD television uh, dummy product. This is what I meant down in the description with some images off to the right and some off to the left. I got these beautiful HD images from the internet. And you can too, just make sure that you get images that are copyright free if you're selling something. And some features like the light box are already working too, which is great. This product needs two more things immediately. It needs a price and it needs a gallery for more views on the television because obviously someone's going to want to see it from different angles. We can edit product and then down in product data below our editor let's just enter in a regular price of maybe $8.99 and in product gallery we can click add product gallery images and then bulk add images just by keeping control selected on your on your pad your keyboard I'm holding down control and I'm just gonna click on the right images okay we want a large gallery for our users and then we can click add to gallery we have seven images and let's update it's also useful to have a product category so let's just add something like televisions which generally describes a broad category of the products you're selling alright so now let's view product again looking great congratulations that wasn't too hard at all and you now have a fully functional product which can uh, collect sales how does it collect sales you might wonder well my favorite method is through PayPal in uh, e-commerce in uh, WooCommerce and to set up the PayPal payment you need to go back to dashboard WooCommerce settings and once you click on settings we can click on checkout and then these blue links are the available options currently for collecting payment PayPal is the most useful however because it lets people pay through PayPal or through credit card once they reach the PayPal window there's a link to PayPal to pay by credit card instead you just need to make sure you have a free PayPal account and you have the right email address listed in receiver email and you'll be all set to start making money through your X team website. With our one product created we can actually do a lot. We just need to find where that product lives in the left side on products and then we need to get the link to the product itself by clicking view. Up in the search bar let's copy that URL and head back to our home page which we can click edit with Cornish sewn on and then in our buttons section in the meat and potatoes right below the hero image let's set that link on shop television so it goes right to our television just replace the href part of this button including the pound sign and click save at the same time we can also go back to our dashboard and create a menu just go to appearance menus now we need a menu name like main menu click create menu and then on the left let's grab some of our pages like shop and click add to menu if you want at the same time you create a menu you can be creating pages and uh, I do want to do that right now because I just want a standard page for about and a page for reviews which will populate with content later I want an about page and we want our favorite template which is not default but instead blank no container header footer so it's a full width page and one more page 
for reviews. We're creating a very simple menu and we want these pages to be linked in the menu so we can click around to them a little bit easier when we want to edit them. Same template and publish. If we save our menu, then the page will refresh and on the left we should have more pages like reviews and about which we can add to menu. Pretty cool. And you might also want things like cart checkout and my account so we can add those too. I just don't think it's a good idea to display those links right to your user because you want them directed to the product before they're looking at their cart or the checkout. So let's nest those items in a drop down under shop. Click save. Lastly we need a location for our menu or it won't show up so let's choose primary menu and footer menu which makes some redundancy on our site because you never know where people are going to click to get to where you want them to go but you do want to get them where you want them to go alright so you now have your first menu in the upper right corner with the drop down menu and the links will be working you have that same menu in the footer down below and we have our button for shop televisions working perfectly good work X theme is pretty easy after all, huh? Anyways, now we want to get back to creating more products so we can show them off around our site, even though having just one product that you sell really well is a great idea. After we create those new products, by the way, I'm going to show you how to add options and drop down menus to the Curve Ultra HD television product. For now, let's go back to new product and let's speed up this process because adding a new product isn't too complicated. Quick note as I add this 2000s television product that if you set up a regular price like $7.99 and a sale price like $2.99 the product will automatically go on sale and you'll have a sale icon on the product thumbnail. Also down here in advanced you can enable reviews. I'm not sure why it's in advanced but we usually want reviews enabled. And lastly, categories are very important. So if we create a new category for sales like we did and check it, then click publish, having that category is going to make a link to every product within that category. And I'll show you what I mean. That category shows up on your product page right below the add to cart button. So while our 2000s TV is on sale, we can click sales and see that our 1990s TV is also on sale and they're both listed on this Cattery Archive page which honestly could use a better title. If you want to change this title then just ask me in the comments below how to do that. The point however is this product category link up here in the URL bar can be useful to share around your site. If we copy it we can take it back to the home page which we can also get to through pages, front page, and of course edit with Cornerstone. And that category link solves one small problem of ours, which is what link to put in this meat and potatoes box button for shop sales. It's the perfect link right here because it lists all our sales. Let's paste that in in the href area and click save. Now when we click shop sales, we can shop our sales. Great job. In the next demo, we'll learn how to add options to your product like size, which can change price and help your customers make the best decision for themselves. We'll learn how to replace this sidebar section with something nicer like a Facebook box. We might even learn how to finally add our footer section and we'll probably learn a few more random ramblings and ideas that I come up with. As usual, thanks for watching. I gotta go tend to the relatives now, but I want to say thanks and I'll see you next time. That's the sound button and that's the stop button.